good morning students history 9th standard history lesson 2 ancient civilizations book exercise first of all let us choose the correct answer the earliest sign to denote words through pictures pictographic the preservation process of dead body in ancient egypt mummification and third one the sumerian system of writing cuneiform and fourth one the Harappans did not have the knowledge of horse and iron. Fifth one, the bronze image, suggestive of the use of lost wax process known to the Indus people, dancing girl. And sixth one, it is a statement, the oldest civilization in Mesopotamia belonged to the Akkadians. The Chinese developed the hieroglyphic system, the Euphrates and Tigris drained into the Mannar Gulf. Hammurabi, the king of Babylon, was a great lawmaker. So, your D option is correct. Hammurabi, the king of Babylon, was a great lawmaker. And fifth one, and your seventh question, Yangtze River is known as Sorrow of China. Who constructed the Great Wall of China? Chinese invented gunpowder. According to traditions, Mencius was the founder of Taoism. So, your C option is correct. Uh, Chinese invented gunpowder. Then, eighth one. What is the correct chronological order of four civilizations? Here, the answer is Sumerians, Akkadians, Babylonians and Assyrians. Here, chronological order means is a Arranging actions or events or things according to the time they occurred. Ninth question is assertion and reason. Assertion. Assyrians of Mesopotamian civilization were contemporaries of Indus civilization. Reason. The documents of an Assyrian ruler refer to the ships from Meluha. Meluha refers to Indus region only. So, the answer is A and R are correct and R explains, A explains R. Then, second Roman letter fill in the blanks. Dash is a massive limestone image of a lion with a human head. Answer is the great sphinx of Giza. And second question, the early form of writing of the Egyptians is known as hieroglyphic. Third question, dash specifies the laws related to various crimes to ancient Babylonia. Hammurabi's code of law. And fourth question, Dash was a master archive keeper of Cho state according to traditions. Answer is low C. And the Dash figurines and paintings on the pottery from the sites suggest the artistic skills of the Harappans. Your answer is terracotta. Then third Roman letter, find the correct statement. Here there are four statements are given. From that we have to choose the correct statement. The great bath at Harappa is well built with several adjacent rooms. The cuneiform inscriptions relate to the epic of Gilgamesh. The terracotta figurines and dancing girl made of Copper suggests the artistic skill of Egyptians. The Mesopotamians devised a solar calendar system. Here, B answer is correct. The cuneiform inscriptions relate to the epic of Gilgamesh. Then second question. Oman was considered the king of God in ancient Egypt. This is a correct statement. And fourth Roman letter. Math the following. Pharaoh, the Egyptian king, Papyrus, a kind of grass, great lawmaker, the great lawmaker, Hammurabi, and Gilgamesh, the oldest written story on earth, and Great Bath, it is found in Mohanjadaro. Then fifth Roman letter, answer the following briefly. First question, the Egyptians excelled in art and architecture, illustrate. Numerous sculptures, paintings and carvings attest to the artistic skills of Egyptians. 
the premises are massive monuments built as tombs of mourning to the pharaohs the great pyramids near cairo are known as the giza pyramids pyramids are considered to be one of the wonders of the world these monuments display the engineering architectural and human resource management skills of the egyptians the great sphinx of giza is a massive limestone image of a lion with human head it is one of the largest sculptures of the world and second question is state the salient features of the ziggurats ziggurats were pyramid shaped monuments found in ancient mesopotamia that is present iraq and one of the most famous ziggurats of the time is the city of ur u r the fortified sumerian cities had the temples called ziggurats as its center then third question hammurabi code is an important legal document explain hammurabi code is an important legal document that specifies the laws related to various crimes it has 282 provisions specifying cases related to family rights trade slavery taxes and wages it is carved on a stone which portrays hammurabi as receiving the code from sun god shamis the eye for eye and tooth for tooth form of justice is used in the hammurabi code six roman letter answer all the questions given under each caption early civilizations what is mean by civilization civilization means an advanced organized way of life it is an adaptation to particular environmental and cultural context and name the important early civilizations the egyptian the mesopotamian the chinese and the indus are the important early civilizations and what did south india witness during the time of early civilization so during the time of early civilizations south india witnessed the emergence of neolithic agro pastoral communities and microlithic form of life by hunter gatherers then fourth question what happened when civilization began to take shape as civilizations began to take shape huge buildings were built the art of writing developed and science and technology contributed to the betterment of society second caption features of egyptian civilization why was egypt called the gift of nile answer is the egyptian civilization depended dependent solely upon the flow of nile river and hence egypt was called the gift of nile by the greek historian herodotus second question who were paro and viziers the egyptian king was known as paro and viziers were the high officials who administered territories under the direction of the paros and third question is what is a pyramid and why was it built answer is pyramids and tombs were built to preserve the body of pharaohs and the pyramids are massive monuments built as tombs of mourning to the pharaohs and fourth question what is the process of mummification answer is the egyptians believed in the life after death therefore they preserved the dead body the art of preserving the dead body is known as mummification seventh roman letter answer the following in detail define the terms hieroglyphics and cuneiform with their main features answer is egyptians are well known for their writing system 
their form of writing is known as hieroglyphic and hieroglyphic was used in inscriptions on seals and other objects the heretic and another form of writing was used for common purposes this form of writing used in used a pictograph based system pictogram based system and sixth point now this inscription was taken to england where it is on display in the british museum museum in london b side heading cuneiform cuneiform is a sumerian writing system the shape of the letter is in the form of wedge and hence it is called cuneiform evolving around 3000 bce it is one of the earliest scripts of the world the epic of gilgamesh was written in this script they used this script for commercial transactions and writing letters and stories the clay tablets contain loads of information on the sumerian civilization next question to what extent is the chinese influence reflected in the fields of philosophy and literature philosophy and literature of the chinese first point chinese poet and philosophers such as lozi confucius mencius moti and to chen contributed to the development of chinese civilization sun tzu a military strategist wrote the work called art of war the spring and autumn annals is a official chronicle chronal official chronicle of the state the yellow emperor's canon of medicine is considered china's earliest written book on medicine so lozi was a master archive keeper of cho state and confucius was famous among the philosophers he said if personal life is cultivated family is regulated and once family life is regulated national life is regulated then mencius was another well known chinese philosopher third question write about the hidden treasure of indus civilization the indus civilization also known as the harappan civilization covers an area of over 1.5 square kilo 1.5 million square kilometers in india and pakistan planned towns fortification well, well planned streets and lanes and drainages can be observed in the harappan towns the harappans used baked and unbaked bricks and stones for construction second side heading agriculture and animal domestication the harappans practiced agriculture they cultivated wheat barley and millets the next side heading it is the metal tools and weapons the harappans used chert blades copper objects and bone and ivory tools textiles and ornaments the harappans used metal and stone ornaments they had knowledge of cotton and silk textiles trade and exchange the mention of meluha in the cuneiform inscription is considered to refer to the indus region weights and measures the harappans developed a system of proper weights and measures since they engaged in commercial transactions they needed standard measures seals ceilings and scripts the seals from the various media such as steatite copper terracotta and ivory are found in the harappan sites arts and amusement the terracotta figurines paintings on the pottery and the bronze images from the harappan sites suggest the artistic skills of the harappans 
ஹிஸ்ட்ரி செகண்ட் லெசன் புக் எக்ஸசைஸ் ஓவர் தேங்க்யூ சில்ட்ரன்